The next event is going to be the finals of the men's team pursuit. Bronze medal ride-off will be between Denmark and Spain. We'll then see the gold medal ride-off between the old adversaries again, Australia and Great Britain. Just to give you a bit of a rundown of qualification, Spain qualified in four minutes, 4.587. Denmark in four minutes, four, uh, four minutes, 0, 0. 0.841. So Spain, 44.587. Denmark, 4.00.841. 0, 0. So the form would say that Denmark should beat Spain for this bronze medal, but it's a team pursuit. You know that anything can happen. Great Britain and Australia, the qualification times, Great Britain 359.784 and Australia 359.325. Whilst the team pursuit is getting ready, the cheerleaders are on the stage, just getting the crowd uh, ready for this team pursuit final and the riders seem to be enjoying the warm up. We might get a shot of them any minute now, you never know. There we are. That's what the riders are uh, trying not to focus on while they get ready for this race. The opening ceremony of these World Championships included loads of acrobatics. Spanish squad then being encouraged by their coach, giving their last little bit of uh, focus. The Spanish team in qualification was Unai Ularaga, Eloy Terrell, Saya Metsu, Sebastian Mora. They can, of course, change a rider if they want to, but it looks like they're going to stay with the same squad. The Danish squad was Lassie Hansen, Kasper Folsach, Matthias Mola, and Rasmus Kwalder. In fact, both teams are going to stay with the same group of four riders. Danish squad. Lassie Hansen, the gold medalist in the Omnium in the Olympic Games. You might remember that, he had such a great Omnium competition. He actually crashed during the Omnium and still won the gold. So Lassie Hansen in here, uh, the world, champion sil world championship silver medalist in the under-23 time trial, also in this Danish squad, which is uh, Rasmus Kralder. He took that silver medal in Copenhagen. The Spanish squad getting themselves up here onto the boards, getting ready for action. Well, let's hope that these teams have uh, carefree rides and it's all about the speed that they put out because in qualification, Hong Kong pulled their foot out. Uh, Spain looked really ragged, uh, but still managed to produce a good performance. Italy looked really ragged, and then Russia had a crash. Well, the clock's ticking as they get their uh, feet into the pedals. Inside the last 30 seconds, it's all about focus now. And we'll see what sort of times these riders can put in. The Danish team opened with a 14.469 for the first kilometre in qualification. Ten seconds to go. The all-important start then as the leading rider gets the gear going. We've seen a couple of crashes in team pursuits in 
this World Championship and also in uh, the World Cup in Glasgow, we don't often see too many crashes, but the speeds that these riders are going, technically, if you get anything slightly wrong, then it can all stop the riders going forwards and you end up all over the track. Great Britain had the worst crash in the World Cup in Glasgow. Russia, one rider was left on the track in qualification today. But we'll see what sort of time the opening kilometre is going to be. The world record, 351.659, held by Great Britain in the Olympic Games. Very, very rapid time. Well, both teams looking good so far. It looks to me like Denmark are slightly ahead of Spain. But we'll get the opening kilometre. It is 14.4. 3.8 for Denmark, faster than their qualification time earlier on today. Spain go through in 1.5.511, again also faster than their qualification. And both teams still looking good. Denmark, Lassie Hansen wearing number 13. Rasmus Kualder wearing number 142, joined by Kasper Folsak and Matthias Moller. Spanish team looking a lot better than they did earlier on today. They look very ragged indeed, particularly in the second half of the ride. Heading up towards the 2,000 metre mark soon. Denmark changing nicely. Both teams looking drilled right on the wheels. One of the Danish riders starting to suffer a little bit at the back. The second kilometre, 2-2. Point one four six. So slightly slower for Denmark in the second kilometre. 24.839, very slightly slower for Spain, but not too far outside. So that second kilometre, pretty rapid for Denmark. You think you do a kilometre at uh, flat out speed at around about 57 seconds, that's really quick. So working it now towards a three kilometre point. Denmark still ahead of Spain. And now Denmark lose a rider, so that could be a problem because the third place rider in the Danish team also looks to be suffering through three kilometres. 300.852. So Denmark are faster than their qualification time. Spain, 34.655. They're slightly slower, but they still have four riders left. However, they look like they've cracked a little bit now because Denmark are absolutely kicking on. Their three riders are looking to try and catch Spain before the finish. And in fact, they can see them just in front of them through the three and a half thousand meter point. Are Denmark going to finish this? before the four kilometers is up. They really are starting to motor. Heading up towards the bell shortly. Denmark go through, they get the bell, they can see Spain in front of them. So it's gonna be the bronze medal for Denmark as they go right into the red zone now. Heading up towards the finish line, they're gonna go alongside each other. They take the bronze, 359.821. Three fifty nine eight two one inside the four minute mark. Faster than their qualification. Over 60 kilometers an hour for Denmark. And they will take the bronze medal. The coach is very happy with that. Spain finish in 45.569. Slower than when they qualified earlier on today. But uh, Denmark will join uh, Australia and Great Britain on the podium later. Remaining to be seen which country will take the gold. Really focused Danish team. They won the uh, Glasgow World Cup. They've always been a good nation of team pursuiters. 
and they take another bronze medal to add to their collection in the World Championships. You can see how much the third rider was tying up there, but it didn't matter. Just had to cross the line, take the bronze medal. Lassie Hansen, Kasper Folsach, Matthias Moller and Rasmus Quader are the riders who take bronze medal for Denmark now as we start to think about who's going to take gold.